Friends, we're back in Ephesians. This is chapter 2, verses 1 through 5. You were dead through the trespasses and sins in which you once lived, following the course of this world, following the ruler of the power of the air, the spirit that is now at work among those who are disobedient. All of us once lived among them in the passions of our flesh, following the desires of flesh and senses, and we were by nature children of wrath, like everyone else. But God, who is rich in mercy, out of the great love with which he loved us, even when we were dead through our trespasses, made us alive together with Christ. By grace you have been saved. Did you hear that wonderful line, but God? Many of us as, as Christians, we recognize that there are, there's us, who, who we are by our nature, the things that uh, we do that we don't want to do, uh, the things that, uh, that really are death in, in trespasses and sin, in bad behavior and addiction and in manipulation and bad attitudes. And, but God, we become something in grace. And as Christians, we live this life recognizing how we are moving out of our nature and finding ourselves defined and identified and remade by grace. And here it says, But God raised us, made us alive together through Christ. But God made us alive. Even when we were dead to all sorts of things, even though we were doing lifeless things, fruitless things, even though we were grasping and trying to meet our needs, trying to uh, get everything that, that our hearts required in, in a sterile and fruitless way, God made us alive in Christ. And this is a beautiful thing because we are defined not by fear. We're not defined by the weakness of our body and the potential or even the reality that we might, we might get sick, especially today with COVID-19. That's something that is scary and at times overwhelming. But we're not defined by that. We're defined by God's grace. Because God, in spite of all this, God has made us alive in Christ. Even if we are shivering in our boots and there is, uh, we, we can hardly control ourselves because it is so scary. God has made us alive in Christ. In spite of all this. Even if we are um, really nervous about what this might mean for us. God has made us alive in Christ. Even if we are shutting down emotionally, and really we are emotionally dead, I can't bear to read the news anymore. God has made us alive in Christ. As we live as Christians, in spite of all these things that stack up, God makes us alive in Christ. It is not us that does it. We don't have to bear these things and trying to carry on in our own strength. It is God that gives us that life. And so friends, a little word of encouragement today. Remember, even though we once were, and many of us still are, living in fear, anxiety, and frustration, God, who is rich in mercy, out of the great love with which he loved us, even when we were dead through our trespasses, even when we were bound up in our anxiety, even when we were stuck, trapped in our homes, he has made us alive together with Christ. And this is nothing that we've done. It is by grace that we're saved. Hang in there, folks. We'll see you tomorrow for worship. Bye-bye.